He plays well in all three, right. but Haleiwa is the get-go, and usually is because this is the starting of the three events. Yeah, and uh, such a great momentum booster and uh, confidence builder. So. Here we go. The set is hitting the lineup with one minute and 45 seconds remaining. Who's going to get it? Up and riding. It is yellow. Ian Walsh, your heat leader from the island of Maui. Big bottom turn and a huge wall. That way standing uh, at least in the face value of uh, 10 to 12 feet. Four, five to six foot Hawaiian side. One minute and 25 seconds. Only that wave came through that broke that far on the outside. So Ian Walsh protecting his lead. Holding everybody off the TV with these this wave behind. We'll see what happens and go. Four, three, two, one. Now we can exit in. Okay, so that is the uh, end and the beginning of heat number three. Lane Walsh is dancing in second with Super Chapman. Tom Whitaker gets third place and Ricardo Christie goes down in fourth. In this heat right now, we've got heat number 12, Peterson Cristanto in the red jersey from Brazil. Also from Brazil, Rita Lee Tanker in the white jersey. From the USA, Nate Yeoman. And also, right, this is Nate Yeoman. Correction, Nate Yeoman up and riding on his back end with a great combination of backside and vertical snap to begin this seat. Great score to start. Heat number 20. Here we go on the outside, it's white. No. And he's got a vertical hack under his belt right there and another nice backside car. So getting on the board early to two back to back. One score available, Nate Yeomans, your first scoring wave coming in. That happens a lot for Triple Crown victories where the momentum that you gain from the very first event is uh, a really, really uh, confidence piece for one down the stretch into a little over there. But as you see, Wiggly Dantas unloading on that wave right there with six minutes to go. He's trying to replace a 1.6. I think he might have done so. So the toilet bowl starts. Uh, right where the jet ski is, and you move over to where Wiggly Dantas is paddling back out, and to a little of the right of him is a spot that we call Driver's Hole. And then, of course, you go to the main peak of Haleiwa, where our servers are sitting now. And then there's Haleiwa left, and then moving over towards the right, kind of in line from us and the triangle red buoy out there. Uh, to the right, that would be the spot called Peak. And then over from Peak is yet another spot called Second, where there's a little peak on the end there that goes right into the jetty. So a lot of different little peaks named uh, right in front of us here in uh, this one beach of an easy car. I uh, even see the uh, lifeguards, you know, pull people off towards the channel side um, from having the day. Yeah, and uh, we saw Vicente Romero, first heat this morning, lose uh, his board, break his board, had to swim in, got sucked over with the car there, had to clamber and scamper up the jetty to uh, get back out of the water. Five minutes remaining, situation update. Coach State to regain second. Peterson Cristano, surfer in red, you are comboed. Needing a Michael Hotkias. Michael Hall in third with an 8.66 two-way score and Brad Grulock with a 0.0. .0 so.
Shane Haleiwa. Now Sunset comes in second with 17 times, and Pipeline's in third, so um, we've had four years the Surfers have won a Triple Crown without winning a single event, but right. they placed well in all three. Right. But Haleiwa is the get-go, and usually is because this is the starting of the three events. Yeah, and uh, such a great momentum booster and uh, confidence builder. So, a lot of significance here at Hollywood for the 2013 Arena Hawaiian Show.